Now we are recording. And go. Um, we are late to the Nitro Party. And Killer if Robots. That, if you haven't figured that out by I now, have Tourette's. it's episode, it's episode <laughs> 31. I just say things. Nitro. Hey! Um, <laughs> you are totally the biggest mark. And I have had the brain to do you. Hulk Hogan, you can go to hell. And all these people are a bunch of stinking bums, aren't you? The reigning United States heavyweight champion, Brett Hitman Clark. We're here, and it's late for the Nitro Party, and I'm drinking a giant can of uh, Coors Light, and uh, we're going to watch some wrestling. So we're going to be watching WCW Monday Nitro, from April 15th, 1996, from the, uh, it's from Charleston, West Virginia, at the uh, Charleston Civic Center, so good for you. <laughs> we've been there before, haven't we? Like, on the show? Not us in person. I don't think we've been to, I don't think Nitro's been to West Virginia before. Really. They did uh, Huntsville twice. I think that's huh. the only repeat we've got. Okay. So, uh, the Charleston Civic Center in Charleston, West Virginia, the rating... Hold on, on we've, this had, show? hold on. We've had other repeats because we've uh, recorded two episodes at the same place in a row. Ah, yeah. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Get tech, get Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Nitro drew a 2.8 Nielsen rating versus a 3.1 rating for Raw. So Raw wins its second week in a row. Um, it should be noted that the previous week, April 8th, Nitro was preempted. I believe by the uh, NBA playoffs. I'm assuming. I'm not sure, know. but there was no nitro for that uh, for that week. So we've had a week off, and uh, we're gonna tear into it here. So April fifteenth, nineteen ninety six, pulled up on the network. Wait, and- Grant, are you ready? What? Yeah, I'm ready. Fuck. Okay. He's not fucking. Right. He doesn't have to fucking stretch or anything. <laughs> so press play in three, two, one, play. So I just, I came up with a good marketing idea. I know there's like licensing and shit that would have to be done, but Clay, your giant can made me think of it. Okay. It's a, it's, it's a whatever can, let's say a silver can and it's, it's a hundred ounces and it has the image, the, the non silver shiny part is just black and it's a singlet and it's Andre, the giant beer. Hmm. You could probably sell that idea to a microbrewery somewhere. Yeah, yeah I don't know That's what the licensing with, uh, with with Andre's family is, but yeah, the only thing on it, the logo, it's just the singlet just and the, a nipple. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, with God. actual hair on and it. And sideburns. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bowl cut. Wow. That's what I had. Probably Dang. in 96. I had, I had so, one for a while. This was Hogan back to the uh, the short shorts. So they're this was originally supposed to be... Those are granny panties, by the way. Yeah, they're hiked up pretty high. Anyhow. You know, you think in retrospect that Hogan would have been gone for a long time before the happening. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, this is just like a month and a half out from yeah. that. So. Oh, yeah. This was supposed to be another ta- a rematch of the tag match, but they, they played up some injury with the booty man. I want to say, like... Arn Anderson injured him on Saturday night, and so now it's a handicap match <laughs> between uh, Taskmaster and Arn Anderson, Anderson and Hulk Hogan. But he's already beat these two explain? plus 25 other guys. But look, he's squashing them for whatever reason. Yeah, I, I think Bischoff did explain it in okay. the intro. Maybe. Is he going to put a figure four on Kevin Sullivan? <laughs> Poorly. <laughs> he, he, he doesn't. He it's did, more of there, a figure three and a half. There's nothing, there's nothing happening. Oh, he misses. So, oh, it gets better. This is the only match I've watched from this okay. show, and I was furious. For so Hogan, Jesus Hogan, he puts the ah! okay, he's like, oh, I messed that up. Oh, he put the fucking leg on backwards. Yeah, that was so. Is there an ICP kid in the crowd? Probably. This is about the point where I was about ready to throw my laptop out of the oh, window. Geez. I was so fucking brand pissed. new laptop. No, I haven't bought one. Oh, you still using the old one? Yeah. Here's our force machine. So, um, yeah. Hogan, um, if you're going to do a move that isn't your move, you're using Flair's move. Someone's which, coming out. 
which even if he wasn't okay with it, do we have a do we have a run in here? Oh, all right, Kimberly, I'm okay with that. Yeah, she can come in any match. Just play cheerleader. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's hulking up on two guys. He has a point of both of them. <laughs> just to make sure they know. <laughs> Hogan's offense just looks shitty. Yeah. Okay. So I, I assume they got distracted by the booty babe. Sure. <laughs> let's say that. Um. You were saying the figure four thing. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, you best do- make it look good. Don't make it look like a pile of fucking shit. Because that's what you've just done, not once in this match, but twice in this match. Within about 10 seconds of each other. Like, a couple times previously, oh, shitty chair. Mm. Uh, Bischoff just said, this is the Hulk Hogan that we know. The Hulk Hogan that hits people over the head. Throws real chairs. shitty chair shots. <laughs> it turns um, out he does this in meetings in the back. <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> um We've seen Hogan throw the figure four on kind of janky in the past, but he at least he at least kind of got it on. Yeah. Neither of those were even remotely no. anything. No, and it's, both guys sold it. It's not even the hilarious Dusty Rhodes method of doing it either. Dusty gets it on. Dusty gets it on. I think Dusty puts it on the way he puts it on for comedic effect. Yeah, it just looks like janky. I think that's the gimmick. A- because he's a common man. Right. And he don't know no different. <laughs> I don't know why I'm whistling. It's probably really loud. They need to fuck him up bad. Get him. <laughs> I stopped watching for a second. I was digging earwax out of my head. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Good. That's what people want. <sighs> Man, them shorts. That is an ass. Double A is just having to job to Hogan. Is the match over? Like, did no, Hogan win? No, or... this is still going on. Okay. Nobody wins in a match I like meant, this. I meant, like, has the bell rung. Um, no, no. Okay. No, it's still going Oh, spike pile driver spot. We'll see. Yes, make it happen. You know it ain't. This is what they used to do when they... Ah, uh, no, not gonna Not happen. another figure four. Son Please. of a bitch. He's in a slingshot to the turnbuckle yeah. and got oh, nowhere near him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey. And he's going to do hey. a reverse hurricane rana. That's oh. a back suplex. Good job, <laughs> Hogan. Shit. That's, that's a variety of offense. Yeah, maybe he was at the power plant oh, plan over the weekend. I love the body slam, slightly different body slam. <laughs> One of those Big body slams, he just drops them halfway. I rake, back rake. Oh, yeah, he gets his uh, way with one of the managers. Oh, that's right. That the, stipulation. the stipulation was he gets... Uh, and so he, he, he proceeds to batter women. To batter both of these women <laughs> as fans cheer he him on. He gets like five minutes alone with one uh, with Elizabeth and woman. And I believe Mongo says something like... Wait, in, in the closet? Is that... Like nope. the stipulation when I read the review... <laughs> in the it, ring, it so literally everybody said, gets to Hogan watch. gets five minutes with the manager of his choice. That's all it says. Oh, goodness. Like, that's fucked up. I wonder why they blurred that sign out. Probably had, like, a penis on it or something. <laughs> <laughs> or it says, like, Oh, fuck. what's that? Oh, I thought it Kimberly says, was like, naked for some reason. fuck you, Vince, or something on it. I don't know. But, yeah, this isn't really cool. You no. can't do this. You can't do that. It would not get by today at all. And people, he's unless like, he yeah, takes, this is great. Uh, people love this. Unless he takes his five minutes to wrestle them. <laughs> like, what's he going to do to him? Right. I don't understand. He's 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 he says something like, "Who am I gonna punch?" or something like yeah. that. Yeah, he's like, gonna like what literally the punch fuck one are you of them. What doing, Hogan? So instead, oh, I thought which, the undertone is that he was gonna molest them. That's this, what we figured, but I think he was actually going to knock one of them out. To was uh, what this, was. this at least. So that was a no Jimmy, sell. Jimmy tried to throw salt in his eyes. That was rigged. So yeah, he had a gig, gig <laughs> shirt. Yeah, because it tore off like perfectly. Uh-huh. Is he gonna, oh, Atomic dropped him. Jimmy's selling his ass off. So they at least give him a way to get out of having to batter a woman and that Jimmy Hart's going to take the spot yeah. here. That hit him in the arm. So had they been selling this entire time, Hogan 
Hogan got screwed by Jimmy Hart. Jimmy Hart was his manager. Had we been reminded of that every time, this would make sense. Yes, but they don't. But they don't, so you ruin a good moment. So luckily we get the giant. Oh, he winded up on that one. <laughs> get him. Yeah, fuck him up. Fuck him up. Like, we shouldn't be rooting for the giant here. Right. And it's like, fucking murder him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to no sell it. Uh, oh, he kicked the shirt out of the way. No, he's going he's gonna to do it. Oh, he's He'll gonna, Hulk he's up. He's fucking Hulk up. He'll Hulk up. Yep. Look at that. Why did I... Su- <laughs> you know what was crazy there? For a split second, I'm like, yeah, he's fucking got yep. him. Yeah. And I totally forgot that this is a thing that happens. Yeah. <laughs> well, for one second, the magic was back for you. God damn it. <laughs> No, he's not. People, like, don't care. No. People it's because we've like, seen this six times. No, we've seen it more than that. We've seen it 60. I mean, with the giant. Oh, yes. Oh, he slammed him. Oh, that's Just crazy, because like, oh. he only also slammed him every other time. <laughs> <laughs> so what, was it like uh, 70-some thousand people, like, paid big money to see that back in 1987? And it was, like, the biggest oh, thing ever? yeah, WrestleMania And now it's on a Nitro, nobody cared. This is kind of funny. He, oh. like, he, he, he freaks out and thinks <laughs> Mean Gene is mean a Gene. bad guy and goes to slam him. I'd really be impressed if Hogan could press slam the giant. Yeah. No then kidding. I'd be impressed. Yeah. 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 You know, like, if that, that were a shoot, Gene would be like, you fucker, you're putting the fuck down, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid son of a bitch. We're going to get a Hogan interview like we had. We just have to have that every week. I wonder what it's going to sound like. You know something, brother, to that effect, I think? Probably. <laughs> Looks like Mrs. Kerner. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> she does not care. It's like, I brought my grandson to this shit, and I'm not <laughs> impressed. Well, I mean, the booty well, man that... wrestled Flair on Saturday night. How have you not gotten a title shot? You know, in my mind, because I don't know what's got, what happened, why the booty man wasn't in this match, but I'd like to think that Flair broke his leg with the figure four. Oh, like, sure. just heelish, yeah. wouldn't let go of the hold, and fucking <laughs> injured him. That'd be good. We're going to go with that. Yeah. <laughs> a lot Sounds of Randy good. Savage hats. Oh, yeah. they're everywhere. You fuckers hold on to those. You go to college off that money one day. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good face paint on that kid. The Wasn't bad. Roadwork, Auk face paint. They spent some time on that. Because that's his favorite people for in, some reason. People in West <laughs> Virginia know what the hell they're doing. Man. You got to think. This, hey, hold on real quick. We're in West Virginia. This is the night you bring back the coal miners glove match. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's good. That's a hell of a point. Play to the missed, crowd, God damn it. Missed booking opportunity number five of the night, <laughs> and we're ten minutes in. That's me right there, that kid in the Bulls jersey. That was me in 96. Little shit turd kid. <laughs> Wearing my, I had a Dennis Rodman jersey. Oh, you! That meant, that meant you were a. <laughs> I was a badass because bad I had number kid. ninety-one. Yep, Dennis <sighs> Rodman. They're just now showing where they're at. Yeah. Yeah. You're not supposed to care about that. You're supposed to watch Hogan. Oh, and, right. and those aren't fireworks. Those are fuses blowing. <laughs> they make mention um, here about. There being a tornado warning, like outside, <laughs> nice. like sear, like legit, like. Severe weather problem. Three years from now, the tornado warning outside would have just been a uh, precursor to sirens, followed by a new gimmick of uh, the human tornado oh, gimmick. Now it'd be Scott Steiner coming out of there with sirens. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> Saturn, Perry Saturn had him first. Oh, Perry Saturn right. had yeah. the sirens. Now yeah. it's Cesaro. Cesaro oh, has that. Really? He's got like a siren music, which is Saturn. Did, sa- yeah. sa- Saturn didn't even have music. It was, it was just sirens. It was just a siren. A siren. One siren. I, he, they should have worked a, someone versus Saturn, uh, a comedy gimmick, because I'm booking like Vince Russo tonight. Uh, their right. music is also a siren, but it's the British police siren. <laughs> <laughs> siren versus siren. Yeah. The ultimate challenge. 
I would have main evented a goddamn pay per view with Russo in charge. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Siren on a pole match. <laughs> Although that's more of a Dusty Rhodes, I think. Why is it? Or why are we not watching wrestling? We're watching fucking Mongo spout nonsense about his goddamn dog. We're watching three old men talk. Luger would break you in half, Mongo. <laughs> Fucking put him in the rack. Yeah. Did Luger play for, uh, pro football? Uh, yeah, he was in the Green Bay Packers oh, organization okay. for a short time. Sounds like public enemy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so excited about it. So I I'm assume gonna, I assume they're going to wrestle the Nasty Boys. That, yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. I bet that because because that's not the sort of thing you should put on Saturday night and save your good shit for this show. Yeah. Was last week that triple threat? Tag yeah. Team? Well, yes, okay. the last episode two weeks ago. Though. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> yep, you got your answer. So apparently, this is a hardcore match. I like the way they did it. Any- the the hardcore nope, match just doesn't exist at that no, point. Th- they said it's a falls count anywhere in the arena match, which I still don't see how that legalizes chairs. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess it does. Yeah. So we're gonna get this hat out of the way. Because that's what I'm worried about. Cameraman doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. No. no. He's like, well, I ain't got no- Oh, okay, uh, here's it- people. They had to go back and get more plunder, baby. <laughs> oh, that hit him on the corner. <laughs> yeah. We just had a pretty fancy move from yeah, Rocco had, Rock. <laughs> that was uh, that was the uh, Johnny B. Bad, Bad Day move. Yeah. Remember that? He's yeah. he's in, uh, he's not in the company anymore. No. Is he no. on the competition I think at this he's, point? He, he, is, he is wrestling at this point in the show. He is wrestling on Raw right now. Oh, yeah, I saw that when we looked that up. He defeated Leaf Cassidy yeah. in the first match. Huh. Wild Man Mark Marin. You know who Leaf Cassidy was? David Cassidy's brother. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Leaf Cassidy was Al Snow. Oh. And they did this gimmick with Marty Jannetty where he was the new rockers. Okay. Because, of course... With uh, Marty Jannetty and... And, and Al Snow. Yeah. So, uh, he... Al Snow had a few gimmicks before he found his huh. uh, niche. Can't say I've ever dove into Al Snow's history before. So yeah. Al Snow's a trainer now, right? Yep. Yes, he's got a wrestling school. We should go. I think his wrestling school is like a feeder to... I, I would say it probably is. A feeder to the feeder that is an XT? Right. <laughs> Heck, some can argue that... What's uh, happening? Oh, we get the tiny split screen where <laughs> nobody... <laughs> See anything? It's like playing. It's because of the four three ratio. They can't do it any other way. It's like the playing. Aspects would it's be like wrong. Playing fucking Golden Eye. Yep, with three people. You can't, you can't see Dick. Yep. No, Golden Eye's better than this. Golden Eye. One person gets a big screen. No, Golden Eye. It's one on top of the other split screen. No, no, no not with, with three people. With three people, with three people, no, with three people cuts people, it in I four pieces. Too. Yeah. Okay, I the, thought one. No, the the yeah. original one cuts it in. I believe cuts it in four pieces, and one of them's empty. Huh. So everyone gets fucked equally. <laughs> <laughs> Slambury is coming up. Slambury is in the middle of May sometime. So. The Lethal Lottery is that what it still is? Uh, yes. And and let's talk about that. We will have a review of Slambury '96. The idea of the Lethal Lottery, which is overbooked chicanery. Um, the deal with that is they randomly select, it's a very obviously rigged, (laughs) they randomly select 16 tag teams. So there's 32 guys in a pool and they randomly select them. And those guys wrestle a tag team match against another team. The teams that win go to a battle royal. So there'd be what? 16 people. Yeah. And a battle royal. And the winner of that is it's kind of they're trying to do like a king of the ring type thing with it. The winner of the battle royal like gets a title shot of some kind, maybe. I don't it, think it's always a title shot. It's just or maybe something. it's just like a like a, a trophy a, or a, yeah something. Like something. That. I don't know. This but is it's that, it's too damn complicated. That is the sort of thing that it is worth having. Whoever in your company you pretend is the commissioner. That is the sort of thing that's worth burning a segment. 
to have him come out and explain what it is, why they're doing it, and what the deal is. Right. Well, yeah. you remember the first time, like, 92 Royal <laughs> Rumble, when Flair won, when it was for the title. Right. They had Jack Tunney come out right. and say, the title's vacant. It will be decided the winner of the Royal Rumble match will be the new champion. A a gimmick match or a gimmick pay-per-view or a gimmick whatever, require, it needs a storyline. You can't just do it to do it. Just just because, yeah. Right. It's too bad he's no good, though, you know. <laughs> Jack Tunney. No good Jack Tunney. <laughs> uh, is there a quote-unquote commissioner in WCW? Well, it was Nick Bockwinkle. Yeah, Nick Bockwinkle. And I'm assuming it still is Nick Bockwinkle, but they <laughs> never mention him. Yeah. At one point, J.J. Dillon is the right. he the commissioner. He ends up being the commissioner, yeah. J.J. Dillon. Yeah. Yeah, because he screws over Jericho. Yeah, he may still be with the Fed at this point, though. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, he comes over in 96 because in that shoot interview with Sullivan, he talks about how, you know, they, JJ coming in. Yeah, because JJ Dillon did contracts in the Fed. Oh, okay. And they talk about time. how valuable it would be to have someone who knows literally what everyone there makes, what their terms are, etc. Yeah, they probably should have kept him around uh, mm-hmm. about ninety nine. <laughs> right. Uh, maybe could have saved the damn company. No, I don't know about that. So not a not a whole lot to say about. It. It's basically your it's your basic hardcore style match. Just shit everywhere, hitting them with fucking tables and chairs. and You know, watching this, I, I do, because this isn't the first one of these we've seen. Um, I, I get why you get the ECW thing, and, you know, next week it's on fire. The week after that, it's, you know, depleted uranium. The, the week after <laughs> that, it's active uranium. Like, it's this isn't, it's not compelling. I've seen it. It's just, it's a... You know, every week you have to jump the shark. It's got to be. Hey, there's something new. Smother them with a trash bag. (laughs) That's different. You know, I was I kind of noticed when they had the split screen that probably 80 percent of the time it was split. Like they could have easily got all in one shot. Yeah, it's not like these guys are in two different parts of the arena. Like Like they were both in the ring at one point and there was still a split screen. They're they're all still around ringside. But yeah, like this, like we're not. Oh, what's he going to do? Hit him with a trash can lid this time? Yeah, it doesn't, there's nothing to, what are you going to do after that? You know, you can't murder him on television. (laughs) Right, so you either have to set something on fire or, you know, just get more dangerous and more dangerous shit. And that's when you get the horse shit where it's like, hey, fucking staple guns and fucking, yeah. The the real solution, that's one solution, but the solution you should have is let's wrestle a match for a while. (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) He means the wrestler. I know. I mean the wrestler. I know. (laughs) Lose all our sponsors that we don't have. I say things sometimes and I don't know why. (laughs) Anyway, Grant, your thoughts. On what? Final solution or the wrestling? On the fucking goddamn hardcore match. (laughs) Oh, um, they should be a wrestling match with hardcore items. There should occasionally be a table spot. There should but if you come out and you start hitting people with your plunder and yeah. the plunder doesn't top itself, if you start with trash cans, the middle can't be trash cans and the end can't be trash cans. The whole fucking thing can't be trash cans. Which is kind of what they're doing here. Which is what they do because you can't bring out kendo sticks. You can't bring out barbed wire. You can't get away with that shit on nitro. So if you're going to put that shit on nitro, set all this stuff up around the ring and have a constant threat. Oh, he tried to throw him over through a table, but he didn't quite get him. Yeah, that actually... Build it up. Have the threat yes. there. Threaten the people. Make the people think you're going to see it. Get them on edge. Bring them up. Bring them down. Bring them up. And then give it to them. You and then, the goddamn... and then finish, it, finish it with a big fucking brawl where everyone's hitting everybody with fucking everything. Yeah, and then just schmoz it out. I yeah. don't know. That, that, that's better. Yeah. Sh- sh- the... sh- schmoz it out and then finish it with a small package. Do you remember the... Uh... The 95 King of the Death Match tournament yeah. that I think you had on tape. Like yeah, Terry I, Funk or Cactus Jack? It was Terry something? Funk, Cactus Jack, and the final. I've got it on DVD. I um, thought you had it on, uh, wasn't that um, ICP's deal? I did. I, I had Watch Strangle Mania, but I loaned it to Jeremy <laughs> Eccles and his sister destroyed it. Yeah, Strangle Mania. What the fuck? Because there was that big fat guy they kept making fun of in that match, calling that the squiggly wiggly balls of fucking. Oh uh, yeah, that 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 was one of the uh, the the uh, goddamn it, 
what the fuck were their names? Oh, the uh, the mushroom the head... brothers or whatever the fuck. No, they're, no, they're the they're the headhunters. The headhunters, that's right. Yeah, they were the Samoan SWAT team. Yeah, and, okay. uh, gotcha. Or no, that's not right. They were the uh, squat team in like the '95 Royal Rumble. Oh, okay. Show. Anyhow, the Samoan SWAT team was the head shrinkers, Rikishi, and uh, yeah. the other. Oh, that didn't work for you there, Johnny. So Johnny Grunge wears a '69 on his jersey. Yes, yes. and look. It's funny. <laughs> hey, see, he won with a roll. He won with a roll up. Yeah. yeah. After the guy flew through a damn table. But people have been through forty-seven other tables. So why is this one special? So I can't remember. Oh yeah, ninety-five King of the Death yeah. match, Japan. The the Americans in that was Funk Foley, uh, Terry Gordy. Yeah. Huh. Fabulous Amen. Freebirds. He and, uh, and he's not in the tournament, but Dan Severn defends his title. Severin wrestled a match, but it was a non-tournament. Yeah. And then uh, the guy who was Corporal Kirshner is that leather face yeah. Oh, yeah. gimmick. Yeah. What was that gimmick that Terry Funk had where he wore, like, pantyhose on his head? Uh, Chainsaw Charlie. Chainsaw, that's okay. All right, I got it. <laughs> Are they actually going to hit that? What, what's happening here? You, what were we doing? You, oh. you could have been oh, we're quoting... doing a double... Clay, you could be quoting Chaucer, but instead... <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm talking about Terry Funk with fucking pantyhose on his head. We filled our brains with that. Um, Pretty no, much. K- King of the Death Match is an interesting one. I think it really it it kind of illustrates my complaint. The opening round matches are good. They're wrestling matches with big crazy spots on this shit. Like, like Gordy, Terry Gordy had it right. He yeah. wrestles one match. He maybe gets a couple thumbtacks in his right. arm, and he loses. And he loses. The, I fucking see the goddamn sixty nine. <laughs> the and that's main exactly event. How he pinned him too. Do they still but make Ter- Twix caramel? Chocolate I don't know. caramel. That's, that's that, still. That's a what thing? a Twi- That's what a Twix is. You fucking. Ooh, it Charleston. is. You're right. What Fuck, the hell, I want, you idiot. I want you one, man. Goddamn Twix before in your life. <laughs> I Fuck. want. I don't eat that. But they don't like emphasize caramel in their packages anymore. It's like chocolate. Oh, it was. Caramel. It was, it was, it was <laughs> no, no, no. It was peanut butter Twix. That's the special one. They don't make those. They don't make those anymore. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, they. Do. No, the one they don't make anymore is cookies and cream Twix. Oh wow, that was a thing. That. Horse shit. That they, yes, and they're awesome. Oh and they God. made it for like six months in the nineties. Anyhow, so the so back to the death match tournament. The main event is awful in that Funk versus versus yes. Foley, yeah. because uh, the ring's just going to explode at the end, and they don't know if it's going to be like an Fire. atom bomb or just. No, is that the one fireworks? where it's a timer? It's like counting down to yeah. some explosion. Exactly. Oh. So it ends up being a bad match because it's just there's no there's no wrestling in it at all. It's a fist fight with some plunder. Who we got here? Ooh, Bobby Eaton, baby. I like how he's Earl Robert. Oh, yeah, Robert Eaton. He's the man, by the way. Bob Bobby Eaton fucking rules. He's a. Uh big time old school very well guy. respected i mean nobody has a bad word to say about him so why why is he not feuding with someone who's got like a sam adams or a ben franklin gimmick like the patriot yeah the patriot the would patriot. be perfect uh, yeah that king of the that king of the death match i think it's like iwa king yeah. of the death match they should have had him feud against fit or the belfast uh well, he, he is. He's feuding, with the, he's feuding with Blue Bloods. Remember that match on uh, Uncensored with him and uh, Regal? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where they beat well, the shit out of each other? I stand corrected. Yeah. Savage. Yeah, that, that King of the Death match tournament, it's worth watching, I guess, just from a... It's a fucking train wreck. It's just yeah. what those things are. I don't so, understand why it was so popular, but... The early matches are a lot better because it's a match with the risk of someone getting thrown through a plate glass well, thing. Did, like that did, that has entertainment value. There's a reason so for that. Bobby Eaton wrestling Savage here just because Huh. Just an exhibition match. I, I guess just a while, while Bishop explains how there. bad Savage wants revenge. On Ric Flair, right. so he's gonna wrestle Bobby Eaton. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice looking Dale Earnhardt shirt. Sure. Um, yeah, the, uh, didn't each match in that tournament have like the, you like drew your stipulation out of a hat. Like one match was a 
broken glass. I match. think so, yeah. And one match was thumbtacks, yeah. and another match was whatever. Um, there's an interview where Cornette talks about early barbed wire matches, and he said what they did was put the barbed wire in the corners. That way you could still use the fucking ropes and have a match. That, that seems... And that makes sense. Yes. You that's wrap the turnbuckles better. in it. Because the turnbuckle is a spot where you throw someone and the turnbuckle injures them anyhow. So the match yes. dynamic doesn't change. You just dial up the pain. Exactly. That's that's a good point. So here we go. Randy Savage, Bobby Eaton. I care way more about this match than I did the last one. <laughs> yeah. Bobby Eaton, one of the great tag team wrestlers of all time. Midnight Express. Guy has been around the block. But now he's a upper lower card yeah, wrestler. I mean he's he's a good hand. I mean he's a good guy to have around. You good know? worker. I mean good yeah. company man. Sweet graphics it. on the butt of his pants. Yeah, oh, yeah. that was made in uh, Photoshop. <laughs> like yeah, Microsoft Paint. Yeah. That's an iron on. It's pretty ge- pretty <laughs> so generic. Jet printer. Which cost a thousand dollars at this time. <laughs> oh, God. Randy Savage is in some pastels tonight. Yeah. It's uh close to Easter? Yeah. yeah, we'll go with that. All right. <laughs> Whatever you say. Well, maybe he just taught Sunday school somewhere. <laughs> I'd like to. Have we seen were that. talking about the uh, Space Ghost Coast to Coast with Randy Savage's Space Ghost dad. Yes, and that's that is that is <laughs> it's com- his grandpa or Grant. Okay, yeah, it's that's comedy. <laughs> Freaking awesome! We're here for your daily beating. <laughs> is, is that the? And you know what? I haven't seen that since it was new. That episode, I haven't seen it again. Is that the one where he says he will uh, something along the lines of do an elbow drop once for every the number <laughs> the number the letter is in the alphabet of his love's name, which is Elizabeth? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's the one. That's it. So I don't know if you noticed, but we had Fred Flintstone. Yes. In the crap. Any guess as to why we have Fred Flintstone in the crowd? I is mean, that movie coming out or something? No. Or... There's the Hanna-Barbera Turner. Exactly. Hanna-Barbera and Turner are partners. Okay. So, so if, if, Kiss, is, if the Kiss Demon gets a match, why isn't why isn't Fred fucking, Flintstone fucking, booked? Fucking goddamn Turner, <laughs> man. Gotta got to cross promote, bro. Huh. Okay, cool spot here. He's mocking him by saying, you know, this is I'm Ric Flair. Uh huh. Bobby Eaton needs to go needs to go show Hogan how to fucking put on a goddamn figure four because he that. does it properly because he's a goddamn worker. Uh-huh. Four Horsemen t-shirt. That's awesome. Fuck yes, I love Bobby Eaton. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, he, she took all your money and now Flair's banging her. Uh, I uh, yeah, Fred Flintstone should get a match. Put him in with the Booty Man. <laughs> Christ, I think at one point. Uh... Bischoff references the reason that Savage has so much money is because he's like doing a spot on some Cartoon Network show, and that's uh, why Elizabeth's trying to get his money from oh. that that he so, made on that show or something. Is that Space Ghost? No, it wasn't Space oh, Ghost. Okay. It was like some Dexter's Laboratory. She thing or something. she wants that know. she wants that big fat Ed Ed and Eddie cameo money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Savage going. I don't up. think I, did De- I don't think Dexter existed yet. I'm looking it up. Look it up. <laughs> Does anybody know who this Jeeves guy is? Like, have we seen him anywhere before? I mean, he's not a wrestler. Ooh, backdrop on the Jesus. floor. Jesus. Like, ask, ask a Jeeves? No, a- Jeeves, uh, bu- the Blue Bloods manager guy. Yeah, ask Jeeves. That's no. the guy. He he left this and he, started a search engine. No, no, fuck you. He's not. Timing is right. <laughs> Jeeves was with a J, though. This Jeeves a G. Although maybe Turner had rights to G's with a G, so he had to change it to J for the search engine. Bobby Eaton, uh, he uh, nicely positions positions himself for the elbow drop. He did that uh, nice and subtle. Yeah. He just kind of scooted a little bit. He was selling so that he could just writhe right. around on the mat and move himself. So that's good. No, that's how you do it. The Macho Man is set to star in the upcoming Cartoon Network project Dial M for Monkey. Uh, Not familiar. Uh, and Elizabeth with that. would like a cut of it. Not familiar with that. So does Uproxx have like every Nitro? Yeah, 
Well, no, they're like in the middle of like 97. Like he does like every week. He just reviews it. We should fucking get a hold of this guy. I don't know. We're we're kind of doing the same thing here. We fucking pool our resources. (laughs) Okay, so Savage is going to hit him with another elbow drop. And who we got? We got Doug and Alex Wright. Oh, uh, oh, fuck. He just (laughs) jumped over him. (laughs) So he's trying to injure Bobby Eaton. We got Alex Wright, Jim Duggan, and I believe that's a hard work Bobby Walker, who was in a, he was in a pull apart a couple weeks ago. Yeah, he was on the show. Like he's just, he's just in the, in the back in full wrestling gear, just a, uh oh. What's that? Ladies and gentlemen, we're experiencing a few technical difficulties on this 4th of July. We'll uh, get things straightened out and get to Robert Redford, starring in Jeremiah Johnson, though, in just uh, just a moment. That. Do we just okay. go, and we're back. All right. And we're back. Sorry, a little technical difficulties there. Um, we're in the middle. Just for the fans, we are at 3352, 53, 54. Uh, we, it, we, it, 30 with through the magic of editing this will seem 34. seamless you don't have to fuck with it so uh grant go ahead and make your point about jim duggan jim duggan's just wearing his blue wrestling underpants for no reason he didn't wrestle he didn't have a match he's not book why the fuck is he wearing that yes <laughs> uh grant you good on timestamp we're at thirty four twenty. yeah okay we'll make sure medusa more tits <laughs> Sorry, Medusa, we love you. I wouldn't objectify you in any way. You could beat my ass. So. No, you really could beat his ass, too. He's not like, a big seriously. guy. She is a bad lady. With a great white height. I remember, have you ever seen that movie? No, but I remember hearing about it. Yep. It's okay. <laughs> I'll probably never watch it. It's just okay. What's your time right now? Make sure I'm still there. 34.55. Okay. 35. Who we got here? Next Where? match. Good call. I, I <laughs> You've been the, paying I, attention to entrance music. I can't. I, my, my shit's turned down. I couldn't hear the music. Yep, Ric Flair. <laughs> <laughs> He's the fucking champ, and you best not forget it. Oh, and the giant. He's back there, too. Oh, Ric Flair giant. <laughs> it would have been funny if it, those were reversed and it said giant Ric Flair oh, yeah. and it was just an enormous <laughs> it, was, it was the giant, giant wearing a robe <laughs> it was the giant with bleach blonde hair and a robe and he's hey I'm giant Ric Flair this is uh, my gimmick now it's like Norm <laughs> McDonald. Yeah, yeah it's funny giant Ric Flair <laughs> he just does like all of Ric Flair's movements I would love to see him do the corner flip over spot oh, he could God. probably at this I bet point he could. he could probably fucking do it I bet he could is Deborah here again? I wonder. I think I saw her earlier. I yeah. Think. I, so yeah, like there, he, there she is. Yeah. That guy in the green shirt, security or something. Uh-huh. Like he's right with her. You really don't want a piece of this. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to keep people back. You can tell. Uh-huh. He's like, I'm a fan. He's like, get get the fuck get the fuck back. That is, I mean. Not that she had to pay for it, though that is. Any, anyone who's ever been to an event, that's the best seat in the house. The corner of the entryway in the ring. Yep, right mm-hmm. where people step in. Yep. Sting. Oh, because Sting and the Giant are feuding. So it's Sting and Luger, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, who knows? It could be Sting and goddamn the <laughs> Belfast Bruiser because of Jimmy Hart. Yeah. Because it switches tag partners every other fucking yeah. day. Sting and the Great Muda. <laughs> that fucking Great Muda. Luger. I... Sting mm. and Sting's hair looks different. Whoop. <laughs> I like that. Almost running into your partner flexing. Oh, that's great. More Sting entryway shenanigans. It's Sting's, like, Sting's hair is Sting hair is brown. Has it been brown? Did it just change? He's got some dye in. Yeah, there's hair. some like weird highlights in it. I don't know. It's like br- black hair with brown highlights for some reason. But Luger's like redeemed himself in my eyes through his entrances alone in the last like two just months. Just being, yeah, he's he's. <laughs> Be, he's being entertaining. Yeah. Yeah, he's, it's like half black, half brown weirdness. First time we've seen Sting, one of Sting's uh, bedazzled ring jackets in a while. Yeah. So, Cage matches down, so I'm making another website for quotes, but Uproxx 
says uh, for this main event. Uh, so we have a tag team match with Ric Flair teaming with the Giant, which makes total sense if you pretend the last month of TV didn't even happen. Yeah, because weren't they <laughs> feuding there for a while? Yeah. You know what? It, Flair being the professional that he is, I bet they don't work real great as a team. Probably not. Because that would make sense. You know, they're, they're Wasn't the main event of Nitro two weeks ago Giant versus Ric Flair? At least with that giant a, face turn a while back, yes. You know, I'm this is going to be you. kind of a strange comment, especially because I know we have the opposite problem later. There's almost it, it comes across that there's not enough wrestlers in this company right now because the storylines are so like watered down people. and they yeah. change so much. It would make sense if the storylines had continuity and made sense if you see the same thing every week, but it's just the same shit for a different reason every week. Right. It'd be, it, it feels like they're out of, out of ideas. Well, and I, I'm assuming they use different people on Saturday night because right. we're just watching nitro at this point. It's only an hour show. Right. So they, they just don't have a lot of time to get everybody in, but you know, hard work. Bobby Walker gets to get in there and a, to break up a fight, so at least they used him. Right. And maybe it's just the people that they're using, because it felt more diverse in the beginning, because you had Alex Wright and Disco Inferno and all those guys out of it. You had Eddie. There it is. (laughs) It was like, when's it coming? We haven't seen Eddie Guerrero in a while. We haven't seen a cruiserweight match in a while. No. We haven't seen Guerrero or Malenko. Remember when Benoit and Malenko were on like every, every show, show there? Yeah, and now we haven't. I wonder if they're doing a tour in Japan or something. That that would make sense. He's a damn horseman. He's it's never a, on the show. It's Benoit. a cool spot. Yeah, it's a good point. He is Gi- a horseman and never on the show. Giants. And they haven't addressed Giant. the lack of a third horseman. So yeah. Flair's pissed because the Giant threw him back in the ring. Maybe this is where we get our dissension. Another press, press slam, slam number two. There's a guy in the crowd right behind where the giant is. Like, look how strong the Flair's 230 fucking pounds. And he yeah. just caught him like. Mm-hmm. There's a guy in the oh, crowd who keeps walking out in the walkway, just going nuts. He's wearing a white shirt. <laughs> in the walkway? <laughs> yeah, like like in the corner. Oh, what? Huh. Flair, Flair, what are you doing? Oh, he's oh, he, what the hell? Well, he's mad. He threw him back in the ring. Oh, I got you. And so he ran around and chopped him. <laughs> uh pissed him off because he kept catching him and throwing right, throwing him right yeah. back into him <laughs> chopping her on chopping her awesome on. flares the fucking man and now for no reason sting and luger on a fight yeah it's a match yeah. when we come back from commercial so why is this not a count out because i'm assuming this is a two or three minute commercial break right that I'm we sure it's more than through. 10 seconds should be a count out victory boy flares back no selling Oh, they're just both back for yep, they're reasons. Just, just they worked it out. Yeah. yeah, they worked it out. Now women convinced them to come back. Yeah, and there was no count out. And Nick Patrick says Nick Patrick is the ref. Yeah. He, he... <laughs> I'd like to see a ref. Like shoot on shoot on a match, yeah, and like <laughs> like you get fired, obviously. Yeah. But it's like, nope, you're out of the Actual ring. Actual rules. You're yeah. out of the ring. Ten seconds. Fuck it. The match is over. Go yep. home, everybody. That is that is the kind of shit I think about. Good big man spot there with the foot. Yeah. See Kevin Nash do that. Yep. Mm-hmm. One of his six moves. Wow. A little vertical nice super vertical. At what point does a giant do a fucking moonsault? That happens, right? I have no clue. Doesn't that happen? Yeah, but or I don't know I that just... it's in WCW. Yeah, I don't know if it was on Nitro either. I don't know if we'll get to see it. Good to see Luger finally sell a chop. Yeah. Jesus. Oh. Nancy Sullivan isn't real believable when she tries to, like, scratch somebody's eyes out. No. It's, it doesn't look very legit. Yeah. 
Anyone? What? Huh? Anyone? I was just watching. <laughs> I was just watching the fucking match. Yeah. Fuck you. Best knee drop in the business. Got him. He's so goddamn safe. Like that's not an easy move to do safely. Bobby Eaton does a knee drop off the top. That you're putting a lot of pressure and uh, like, force on the one knee. You've got to be because real because you're careful landing on the other knee. That. You you miss by a couple inches. You're b- breaking a guy's nose. Yeah. yeah, he's incredibly safe with it. Good. St- you won't hear me say this a lot, but I'm okay with Luger selling there because it's the giant. Yeah. And Luger's begging off a little bit. Mm-hmm. Little heel little heel move there. Just because it's, you know, he's so goddamn powerful. But for some reason, Hogan get choke slammed and then just get right up. <sighs> Therein lies the problem <laughs> with what has happened. So why would you hold that leg and stomp the other leg? You don't hear me bitch about, like, <laughs> Ric Flair. Okay, all right, okay, I stand correct. He's going for a figure four. So Hogan could get choke slam to get right up, but, like, if the Giant, like, in that match, the Giant would just, like, you know, kick him, and Hogan would go He's down. He's going to sell it. <laughs> well, it's... it's. Flo- I know why, but I don't know why. <laughs> it's floating through the veins. I cannot wait for Ultimate Warrior and WCW. Oh, God. <laughs> it's going to be... We're still two years from that. It's going to be fucking nonsense. Yeah, it is. It doesn't last very long, either. No, no, it doesn't. You know... Do you know the reason that it didn't last long? He actually, like, he got injured at uh, Fall Brawl. The, uh, the, the War Games One before match. Halloween Havoc. Really? He actually wrestled Hogan injured. But, yeah, he, like, had to, like, get it worked on after Halloween Havoc, and he, and he just bad. never came back. I wish they could have brought him in during the Dungeon of Doom. Oh God! That, that would actually think fit. of the think of the promos he would yeah. have cut. No, that would make so much more sense. He could have like been part of the alliance warrior. to destroy yeah. Hulkamania. Evil warrior. That's so, that actually could have been bitching. Yeah, like evil Ultimate Warrior, where he's a fucking just. Yeah, I don't know. He's no, the face paint's just dark. Is how you do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just black face. It's basically, paint. like it's like evil basically. Link or whatever. Well, it'd just be like the crow sting version of Warrior. Right. I mean, just like the Dark Warrior, you know. Right. Oh, and he'd be called the Dark hey, Warrior the, instead of the Ultimate name. Warrior. There's his name. The Dark you got Warrior. It. The problem would have been is that he would have been the biggest baby face in the company. Oh, he would have been he's over trying to kill like Hogan. <laughs> People would have loved him. Um, no, that would have been fantastic. Just to like rewrite history, like have it be Dark Warrior versus Hulk Hogan, Hulkster Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Uh, like you know, it's Starcade ninety. Five or whatever instead right. of what it was and then have it be like one of those kind of like uh brett and stone cold right where warriors the heel and hogan's the face but th- at the end of the match yeah, it's warrior dude. comes out on top and then hogan turns on the fans during the match do some yeah. kind of uh double turn yeah um i did not that's about the i'll, I'll have to rewatch it i didn't mind the warriors uh the first nitro he shows up i didn't mind that segment Oh, it was great. It was incoherent, but I mean, well, I what was. What the fuck else are you going to do with it? We all so. knew it was coming. Like, we had read the dirt sheets, the TWMP. Like, we knew it was <laughs> happening. I remember, like, just watching that episode, like, come on, come on, come on, come on. TWMP, <laughs> man, I miss that. I, like, it's still there. I visit it. That's where I get my oh, yeah. my current wrestling news from. Yep. That's still a website. Yep. Oh, yeah. Nice. Still active. Anyhow, back to Nitro that's going on news. at this point. What's that? I said back to Nitro going on now. Yeah, well, Luger's nuts hurt. I mean, it's uh, it's Flair. He's gonna beg off Sting and get his ass kicked for a while. Whip to the corner. Oh, press no, slam. Right. No, press <laughs> slam. Imagine that. We've had about three booking ideas in this show alone that would have made more sense than what happened actually. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh cam- no, no. <laughs> <laughs> cameraman got waffled by the. Turnbuckle spot. Yeah. That's awesome. Superplex, baby. I do not care for the phrase that Bobby Heenan just used. Anything can happen, and it usually does. Usually anything <laughs> happens? What? What the fuck that's kind of actually, sense does that make? That's, that's the most... No, that's the most honest, true statement anyone's uh, ever made. Shit's, <laughs> shit's breaking down. Women's got coffee. Uh, we're doing this again? Really? If it's not a high heel, it's a freaking cup oh, of coffee. He, oh, Luger ducked and Sting got 
hot co- okay good job nick patrick actually calling for a dq when it's necessary luger gets choke slammed okay hulk hogan gets choke slammed and he gets up lex luger gets choke slammed and he's he dead. dies he's dead. <laughs> And Sting. And Sting, I guarantee he sells it. I Fuck would like you. to imagine after this Nitro, one of the ring crew guys is just at the local coin-op laundromat cleaning the, the, the ring apron, cleaning the canvas. <laughs> it's like, fuck, he's got shit it's all like, over God, God damn fucking coffee this time. Hell, Grant. Oh, never mind. Nope. This, Flair, this Flair wants to know why shit's... Oh, oh, yeah, take a swipe at the ref. That's a That fine. should be like a technical, and you get fined and thrown out of no, the next Nitro. They usually mention, like, when a guy, when, like, Flair or somebody will shove a ref. It's like, oh, that's going to hit him in the pocketbook. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, both these guys are down for the count with a choke slam apiece. Yet, when it happens to Hogan, he's up and, fuck, God damn, I fucking hate it so much. Yep. Flair's trying to pin him, even though the bell already rang. Yeah, he don't care. He's nuts. God, look at them eyes. She, she is, is just... She, <laughs> she's a devilish woman there, baby. Holtzman love devilish women. Oh, man. So that was the main event. Yeah, fuck, we got a minute left. Jesus. Handcuffs. Why does he have handcuffs? Oh, yeah, they put him on Savage earlier. I forgot. Ah, ah. Oh fuck you, Bischoff! You're you suck. It's like schoolboy humor. I don't like it. I don't actually mean that Eric Bischoff sucks. I just mean I don't like this character. I like. It's funny I'm because of the way Heenan sells, sells it, though. Yeah, Heenan. Oh, Heenan's amazing. <laughs> Heenan's selling the absolute shit out of it. I uh. We didn't really talk about Savage getting led away in handcuffs because that's right around where we had some technical yeah, difficulties. But yeah. I, I mean, I guess they arrested him for dropping one too many elbow drops. Yeah, I guess. Meanwhile, yes. you can have Hogan hitting people with shoes yep. and all this, and nothing happens to him. There, there should be a run yep. that they like enforce the rules, like anything that had like, oh nope, he went to jail. He had, he had to do community service. Yeah. Like, well, we're down to, uh, you know, Eddie Guerrero versus Jim Duggan for the world title because everyone else is on probation and couldn't leave the state. <laughs> yep. So uh, that's uh, this Nitro was uh, it was it was OK, I guess. I, it I mean, we talked about the Ultimate Warrior for 10 minutes, so <laughs> yeah. it could yes. have been that the good. highlight of the show. So um, we'll be here next week. Tune in late to the Nitro party. Follow us on Twitter. At Nitro Party Jobber with one B, and uh, let us know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. We're on iTunes. Um, how long are we on iTunes for? For I, I guess for just now. <laughs> for now, I had to totally switch everything over to a different server. Okay, I didn't know how that worked because it's that's your. It's back. I mean, no one will. If I didn't mention it, it wouldn't have okay. happened. Like nobody would so... have known. But it's just back. Backstage stuff, so, I so guess. So Google can go fuck stuff. themselves, is what we're saying. We're going to fight the power. The biggest conglomerate in the world. <laughs> we're going to fight the power. Okay, everybody, we'll be here next week. Tune in and uh, see you next time. See Watch ya. more wrestling.